Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the importance of adding images to your posts for your on-page SEO. There are two reasons this is important. First of all, Google likes pages with images on them because images and other media like video or PDFs increase engagement on a page. People interact with the page longer if there's pictures or something to do, and Google wants people to have that interaction with your site and so if you have a site with images versus a site with no images, the one with images will more than likely be ranked higher. And there's a bunch of things you can do with the image itself that help you to rank. For example, Google has what's called image search. If you go and search a keyword in Google, you'll by default see the organic web page results. But then there's a tab right below the search bar where you can click on images and you see all the image results for that search term. So if you have an image, for example, let's take this post that I'm, I'm optimizing right now. We want to rank for the keyword WP Spam Shield, and we include images in this post that, in, in our case, is going to show a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to use the plugin. These images will possibly rank in the Google image search for the keyword WP Spam Shield because that is the page on which they exist. And we're going to title the file of the image with our keyword. We're going to have the keyword inside of the title tag for the image and inside of the alt tag for the image. And there's really no limit to the number of images a post can have, but you just need to have at least one. One image per post. It needs to be somewhat related. It doesn't have to be exactly related. For our market, for the WordPress market, it's easy because images help with step-by-step -step walkthroughs. So I'm going to show you how to add an image, which I'm sure you already know, but I'm going to show you anyway. And then I'm going to show you what I do to optimize the image. So first of all, I have a set of images in a folder, and I name them with the keyword WP Spam Shield plugin. And then I order them one, two, three, four, five, six for as many images as I have. That's just for me for organizational purposes. And then I have what that image is displaying exactly. So the first one is going to be the WP Spam Shield settings. Now don't forget our keyword is WP Spam Shield. So we have that at the beginning of every image. And when we save this file, it's actually saved as a web optimized file, meaning the file size is smaller. You can either save them as web optimized as you're making them. And I have a link below this video um, to another video that shows you how to do that. Or you can use a plugin called WP Smush, which actually compresses images as you upload them. And there's also a link to a tutorial for that video down below. Feel free to check it out. So we're going to upload this image right now and I'll show you how I set the title tag and the alt tag. The, the file name is already set to the, the keyword that we want. So I'm just gonna upload that image by dragging and dropping right here. And then I'm going to change the title to make it readable. WP Spam Shield plugin, oh, plugin settings is what the first image was about. And I'm going to have the same alt text for that. And for the caption, this is going to appear below my image. It may or may not appear below yours, depending on how your theme is set up. But for my theme, the captions are not hidden. And then this text that I put in here will, will appear below the image. So I'm going to type in how to set up the WP Spam Shield plugin. I'm going to copy that into the description. So our title field and our alt field I always keep as the same. And our caption field and our description field I keep as the same, just to make things quick and easy. And then link to, I usually have to none, but you can click link to the, the media file, which means it will show a bigger version of the image if they click on it. I just keep it on none and I insert the full size. So when that's all done, I click on insert to post. And here is the code for that image. I'm in the HTML version, so you don't see the image there. And just to recap, what's important is with images that the file name has the keyword that the alt text has the keyword, and that the title tag, 
which I set, but it didn't add in. So we also want the title tag to have the keyword. And lastly, we want our image to be web optimized so it loads faster. So those are the four things you want to make sure of, of every image that you, that you add to a post or a page, every single image. And that will greatly help your on-page SEO. So in this video, you learned how to properly add images to your WordPress site for on-page SEO. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get more awesome videos just like this, and check out wplearninglab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.